We don't know what the name means either. <laughs> All right, Monday. You ready? We've got at least three songs about death on the set list, and here's the first one.
I'll take a little bit, a little bit more of Graham's vocal in my way. Thanks. Oh, this is our first time at Shrewsbury Folk Festival, uh, and we're so excited to be here. We're based in Edinburgh, and uh, it's been a whole weekend this weekend. The second festival. We drove down to Jamie's in Cumbria, and then we drove to the bottom of Wales for Between the Trees Festival, where uh, these guys were headlining on the oh, Friday. Saturday, I don't even know what day that was anymore, but it was fun. Uh, these guys also play in Sam Kelly and the Lost Boys, and uh, they got so lost they wandered into this band, so that's good for me. And, uh, and then we drove up to a very expensive Malvern Premier Inn after that gig at about four in the morning. We've had about a few hours sleep between the three of us. That 4 a.m. going to bed time included almost hitting a hedgehog on the road and getting to the Premier Inn and then feeling so worried that I drove back to where the hedgehog was just to check it was okay. Was, you know, these things are important in touring. I can't believe it was still there. What? <laughs> the hedgehog has a death wish. <laughs> All right, cool. We're gonna. That is the big tune, tune up from Dad Gad Standard. Almost over. Uh, did uh, she then a gig tire you out sufficiently? In a good way. We'll, we'll play fun. a nice chill one now. Yeah. This is for all you, you hungover people. This was written on one of our hangovers, actually. After a crazy night out in Edinburgh when we were, when we were young. And uh, it was a, Graham burnt the garlic bread that night and it was the only thing to eat. And when you're hungover and hangry, it, was, it resulted in a little bit of a, not an argument, but no one spoke to each other. And uh, we were too immature to apologize, so we made up through the medium of song and wrote this and called it Anna because it's neither of our names.
Johnson song for you now. It was uh, nicked kind of from the, the Crooked Still version of this song. Graham was a classical cellist and a, 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 like a grunge, post-rock, electric guitarist. And uh, listened to this album, Crooked Still, Shaken by a Low Sound, and uh, got into the bluegrass cello. And you never went back. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Thank you. 
did see some other gals got my man and the lonesome blues can they get me get to come on in my kitchen because it's going to be raining outdoors Thank you. I'm going to play you the, the fourth song we ever wrote now, I think. This is our tale of Carolina. It's our homage to bluegrass songs about shooting your spouse. In this case, Carolina shoots hers and goes on the run. We're not condoning it. But maybe at the end of a Festival weekend, camping with your partner, snoring next to you all weekend. Who knows? Forgive her, she's left him behind with no place to
Thank you. Thanks. Gonna play a brand new song that pretty much got its debut yesterday. We wrote a bunch in lockdown. Mostly about lockdown. <laughs> and this is a song about just uh, biting your lip and getting on with things. Because uh, you have to. You just have to carry on. We had a bunch of fun stuff planned for 2020, as I'm sure everyone did. We had, we were lined up to have a gig in Barbados. <laughs> uh, a total random Scottish festival in Barbados, but uh, we got a two week tour of Australia in the bag uh, before flying home. But you just, uh, that'll all come around again. You just have to keep on keeping on. And the song is called OK Now. Tell from 
Me and Graham are gonna have a bit of a sing now. Either that or Jamie's had enough. <laughs> Right, so it's a folk festival, so I'm sure you're all going to be familiar with the next one. I would say sing along um, to this very intricate, worked out harmony <laughs> thing me and Grim are going to do, but do it. You'll all know it. It's a, it's a Joni Mitchell song, and uh, we're going to have a key to kick it off, I think. Key of D. Yeah? We haven't done this one in a couple of years, so we just decided we'll just fling it in today. <clears throat> just before our love got lost, you said, I am as constant as a northern star, and I said, constantly in the darkness, where's that end? If you want me, I'll be in the bar On the back of a cartoon coaster In the blue TV screen light I drew a map of Canada Oh, Canada Your face sketched on it twice Cause you're in my blood like hope Yeah, we were watching Seth Lakeman and the Youngins last night and just thought, ah, we should do a little sing around a mic. <laughs> so fun. Yeah, I just forgot just how small Emily is, though. <laughs> A song now that's on our most recent full-length album called Dead Reckoning. If you're in the merch bitty, there's a 
it's the it's the CD that looks ominous and like you probably don't want to buy it. It's the one you're not drawn to. That one. It's a, it's of a big um, black oil canvas painting by an amazing local artist uh, up in well, up, in, up, up in the Black Isle, not local to here, called Izzy. And uh, we thought we were. <laughs> in a bit, of, well, I think the world was in a bit of a dark place at that time. Uh, well, not in relation to now, <laughs> actually, 2016 was the kind of, you know, uh, dodgy years and Trump and everything, but, but now it's got nothing on 2020, so um, we need to, an even darker album to follow <laughs> up. So this, this song has the opposite sentiment of uh, keeping on. <laughs> We also have some vinyls for sale, so please buy one so we don't have to keep carrying them around. They're awkward. Help us pay off our uh, 200 quid premier in. Yeah. We did not plan for the bank holiday weekend. <laughs> Shut it up, giving up. I've decided to 
Cheers, guys. We're feeling so lucky to have Jamie in the band. It's uh, been me and Graham for a long time. Uh, we met at university studying music when we were just kiddies and uh, kind of cut our teeth just doing a bunch of covers in the grass market for a year. Doing all sorts on the cello. And then thought, all right, it's about time we tried to write songs. Well, neither of us had done it before. And, uh, and we're still here, so. And we got Jamie in. Well, it was, it was a chance meeting that uh, the, the Lost Boys decided to, to drive all the way from, you guys were living in Brighton at the time. Uh, they were at uni studying music too, at BIM, and, uh, and they drove all the way up. You were, guys were a trio, you, Sam, and Evan. Carson on the drums to do a house gig in Edinburgh where it was like zero money and three songs and they did the Brighton to Edinburgh drive uh, and we, we did a co-bill and, uh, and they drove back like the same night or something crazy um, and we are so glad that our, our paths all aligned at that fun night in Edinburgh. We are uh, usually a four piece but our uh, bassist decided this week that he lives in Berlin now, so <laughs> if you know a bassist, <laughs> we're hiring. Here's a song I uh, wrote at the start of um, 2020, pre-everything, um, that was, uh, we, we were partying a bit too hard back then, drinking a little bit too much, and uh, and uh, we, we, we wrote this, I say we, I always land Graham in it. It's mainly me. And uh, we wrote this song about um, giving up, uh, going out and partying and getting drunk and seeing people. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't realize how, well, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> it's called Goodbye.
It's so new to the set. Uh, we just we've just done it for this festival, and uh, we don't actually know who wrote it yet. <laughs> we've not done our research well enough. We're just like, oh, remember that song? Let's just play that song. Uh, I just think it's so beautiful. I, I saw it. It was one of the last gigs I saw before um, there was no more gigs, and it was sung at the Transatlantic Sessions. I don't know if you guys caught that tour back in January 2020, and um, it was a great Irish singer and Rachel Sermani and Sierra Hull. Um, and, uh, and we've been uh, participating in a thing called Global Music Match uh, for the last three months. So if you go on our social medias, it's, we've teamed up with, um, with uh, a Scandinavian uh, string band and a Brisbane-based cellist and a Ghanaian balafon player. And, uh, oh geez, uh, <laughs> a rock guy from Prince Edward Island and uh, a, a traditional Irish fiddle player. And we've been making music and collaborating. I got them all. And, and, our, and our head coach who leads us all is Christine, who is the uh, booker of New Orleans uh, Jazz and Heritage Festival. So it's, it's all really cool. And uh, we've been making music. And we're going to release this, a wee cover of this, this song this week. So keep your eyes peeled for that. It's been a way that artists can stay in contact and festival programmers and we can all stay in contact with each other when we can't get out and see each other in the real world. So this song is called Old Churchyard and it's, uh, it's bittersweet. It's the second or third death song, third, because we had Carolina. It's the final death song of this afternoon, so. Sing along if you know it, and here's to, to lost friends. He's a key there. Jamie, you're so far away. <laughs> Ready? One. Come, come with me to the old churchyard. Hi. The soft green sward Friends lie there Who we want to regard We will trace out their names In the old churchyard But more not for them For their treasure I know it 
play one more and it's another big epic tune to dead gad so I hope Graham's got a joke for you oh, no. <clears throat> uh, do I the one that you usually tell takes about half an hour or so no we definitely don't have the allocation for it <laughs> Go on, tell you, tell, tell oh, one of your Jamie, jokes, Jamie. Give us a banjo go on, joke. Go on, he's got a really good one. The only one about, about the numbers. You've been denied a joke from Jamie, so everyone give him a lot of hassle at the merch stand, and he'll have to tell it several times. So that's your punishment, Jamie. Um, my cackle oh, is sorry. probably with you. Thank you so much. Uh, this is, yeah, our first time in Shrewsbury at all. Um, and it, it's been amazing. Thanks so much to the festival and everyone on sound and for having us on. And we've just, uh, it's, I cannot tell you how good it is to be back on stage. Um, I couldn't hack the live streams. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Give it up for Shrewsbury Folk Festival and this amazing. Uh, I even miss the Premierians. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, at the merch bit and uh, in about 10 minutes after we finish up. And we'd love to meet you guys and say hi. And uh, we have many different things. If you're not a physical music person, we have little badges. Yeah. In green and blue. Green and yellow. All right, so this is on Dead Reckoning, the big ominous black album. It's called I Hope. Get up for Jamie Francis on the banjo, Graham Coe on the cello. Emily Kelly on the vocals and guitar. Thanks so much for listening to us. It's been lovely. We've been the Jelly Man's daughter, and we don't know why we're called that. <laughs> I never 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Shrewsbury. Have a great festival, the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs>